let, let me share with you another common characteristic trait that many people with addictive disorders experience, including myself, was denial. I'm 26 years of age. I see myself as a gainfully employed New York City police plain clothesman, as an elitist perception that I have about myself. Certainly that's grandiose, but nevertheless that's what I'm seeing. So I'm maximizing all of these exterior traits and, and denying the interior dissolution of, of irresponsibility. As I said before, self tremendous self-centeredness, dishonesty. The characteristic traits that are anything but what would describe a, a spiritually vibrant, alive human being. So I'm not even seeing the interior man, which is in trouble, it's big trouble. But I'm in a detox and apparently I was so severe in my early detoxification experience that I went through the DTs, which is usually a characteristic trait of late stage alcoholism. But I'm a young guy, so I, went through, I don't remember experiencing this. But I went through the DTs, and how did I find out? The next morning, I'm sitting outside playing chess with another patient. And a nurse comes out and asks me, in a sort of a snippy way, how are you feeling today, Mr. Devine? And I react to her, what I think is a, a negative attitude. I react to it. And I said something fresh and inconsiderate to her. And she responded back to, by saying to me, you weren't so smart and glib and pretty last night when you were going through the DTs, my friend. We had to tie you down in the bed. And I was, I was absolutely appalled by her trying to tell me that I had that level of impairment. But that's, that's a, so I was in absolute denial of that, uh, of that you know, depth of a problem. Why? I have often thought about this later on. Why, why would I deny this? Well, for two reasons. Number one, I like my relationship with alcohol. I like what this did for me. In fact, it was the only thing that really made me feel good as I perceived it. You didn't, my wife didn't, the world didn't, but this did. So I don't want to give that up. So I'm, that's number one. I'm going to deny my relationship with that chemical. That's primary. And I'll see that at the time. The second thing is, who wants to admit that a little five ounce glass of wine or a 12 ounce bottle of beer is in charge of my life? I'm a cop. I'm, I got my act together. I can do 150 push-ups. I'm going to be out of. I'm going to be controlled by this stuff. So I don't want to admit that. So those those are some of the roots of my denial. I don't want to. I don't want to address that. But mainly because I have to give this up, and I don't want to. What's it going to take for me to give it up? Well, it's going to take more, more crisis, more pain is going to have to happen before I'm ready to surrender to that concept.